In this video, we're gonna be bringing our Twitter feed onto our WordPress website so you can show your tweets uh, in real time on your site. Um, they look just like this. Uh, basically, you can have them kind of fading in and out um, or whatever you like, really. You can show as many as you want, as few as you want, all sorts of things. It's very easy to set up and got loads of options. Uh, I'm using a free plugin to do this, so uh, you're not gonna to need to spend any money, which is, uh, which is good news. So, well, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. As I said, in this video, we're gonna be adding a Twitter feed, your Twitter feed probably, or maybe one for a client. Um, you can pull in as many tweets as you like, and there's loads of layout options as well in terms of how you want to display them. So the plugins I'm gonna be using today, um, the first one allows you to obviously pull your tweets through. It creates a widget, which you can add to uh, any of the sidebars that you have in your theme. The second plugin we're gonna be using basically allows you to use that widget as a short code. And a short code is just like a little bit of text that you can paste anywhere you like, you know, within a page or whatever. Uh, and then the tweets will show there. So uh, very flexible and um, hopefully you're gonna find it useful. So let's get on the computer and I'll show you how it all works. Okay, so I'm over at the site that I'm gonna be adding the Twitter feed to. It's a website that I've just been working on recently. In fact, I've been recording a video all about it. So uh, look out for that, that'll be coming up soon. Uh, when I've edited it down, I've got about four hours of footage. So it might take a little while, but yeah, it will be coming soon. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. The first thing we need to do is install a couple of plugins that are gonna help us uh, with the Twitter feed. So to do that, let's go into the dashboard. And then plugins and add new. First one we're gonna add is the Twitter one, which is called Tweet Scroll. Hang on, it might not have a space. Let me just get rid of the space. That's the one we want. Let's click install. Now it comes as a widget, uh, which is kind of handy. So that means you can add your Twitter feed to your sidebars, uh, wherever they may be on your theme, maybe down the side, could be in the footer, could be in the header. So let's click activate. But I'm also gonna add another little um, plugin that allows us to um, add widgets as short codes. So that basically means that we can add them to a sidebar and then drop that uh, sidebar or widget, whatever, into a piece of content in like the main page body, if that makes sense. So you've got two options. You've got the widget, which you can add to your sidebar, and then we're gonna use a short code plugin so that we can add it anywhere else, say for example, on the home page or something like that. So that second plugin is called Widget Shortcode. So I'm just gonna type that in, do a search. Oh, I need to click Add New, silly me. Widget short code. And click install now. Then click activate. Okay, then we're good. So let's set up um, our Twitter widget first. So if I go into um, appearance and sidebars, I'll see where you find all the widgets. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> you don't find them there, you find them in appearance and widgets. Silly me. So in appearance widgets, we've got this new area now called arbitrary, which is um, what we can use for the shortcode. So basically anything we put in here, we can then dump anywhere on the site. It will become clear in a second. So let me go and find the um, tweet scroll widget. Here it is. Now, of course, you could just put it in your main sidebar or wherever, but I say I wanna drop this one on the home page. So. Um, a sidebar is not going to be useful, um, so that's why I'm going to use the shortcode. So once you've put the widget in, you can give it a title. Uh, you can put your username in, which obviously we're going to do in a second. Uh, number of tweets you want to load, and all sorts of things. So um, let's go through and, for, and I'll leave the title as Twitter for now. I think I may want to remove that, but we'll see. Let me add the username, which is Bake It Freeform. Number of tweets load is fine. Now I just want this kind of do a fade, so I'm just gonna go with that for one. Uh, 600 is fine for now, I think. Timestamps are fine. So I wanna set this to fade. Open in your in new window, that's when people click any of your Twitter links. Show the Twitter logo, yeah, why not? I'm gonna bother with the profile image. Uh, and then you can set some caching if you want, maybe five minutes is good. Okay, now we need to get our consumer keys and access keys. So to do that, 
we need to head over to uh, Twitter. I'll just open a new tab. And in fact, we're going to apps.twitter.com. Then we need to sign in. So let's sign into Twitter. You probably want to use the account that you're setting up the site for, but uh, obviously it doesn't really matter. You can use any Twitter account. You just need to get the API key. I'm going to click login. Don't have any apps at the moment. So I'm going to click create new app. I'm going to give it a name, which is um, make it free from website tweets. Description, website tweets. Uh, put the URL in. Don't need a callback URL. Tick the yes, I agree. Uh, it says I need to um, add my mobile phone number to my Twitter profile, so I'll just do that quickly. Da -da -da. Um, where's the phone number bit? Must be in in here. Uh, no, oh, mobile. There we go. So just add my phone number. Text you a code. Just got it, so I'll type it in. There we go. So let's go back and try and create that again. It doesn't like my URL, I think it needs the HTTP. There we go. HTTP colon slash slash, you know, the usual. Hey, there we go. And now we've got some keys and things. So let's click on keys and access tokens. And here's the things that we need to copy and paste um, into our widget on WordPress. So I'm going to go down here and click create my access token. And then we've got everything we need. So the first one is consumer keys. I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard. Paste it in. Make sure there's no spaces or anything that come across. There's the next one. And then towards the bottom, towards the bottom on here, you'll find your access token and, and whatnot. So let's copy the access token. And paste in that one. So let's click save. Then we're good to go. So then what we need is this uh, short code here. I'm just going to copy that and then we're going to go back to the home page. I'm using X theme on this website, but uh, it doesn't really matter what theme you're using. You're just going to need to obviously paste that short code where you want it to appear. So let me edit this page. The theme I'm using does have a quite a nice visual editor, but you can just paste it into the, more, the normal uh, WordPress editor or whatnot. So I'm just going to um, down the bottom here. I think I'm going to add a new section, I think. And then within that section, I'm going to add a text. So it's going to this is going to vary depending on um, your theme, etc. But basically, I'm just looking to paste that short code in like that. And it's brought up more than I wanted, so um, I need to adjust my settings, I think. But yeah, that's looking good. Let's click save, and let's have a look at the page. I think it's forgotten those 10 tweet settings that I've done. So let's go back into widgets and adjust those settings. So um, widgets. Ah, yeah. That should be. Uh, oh, no, that one should be one. I thought I changed that earlier. Let's click save. And refresh. Uh, 
And there's our Twitter feed. So um, I hope you found that useful. I'm obviously going to just tidy it up a bit and move the space around, move it up a bit. Um, but that's obviously going to be theme specific. But uh, hopefully you've got Twitter feed now on your uh, on your website and it's looking good. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave them below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Uh, until next time, it's bye for now.